wow, we nearly just witnessed an accident there. Anyway. Hey, it's Lexi. And this last weekend, I went to Bulgaria's capital city. Sofia is about two hours away from Plevin, and I was really excited to get out of Plevin for a little bit. Sofia is the biggest city in Bulgaria and has been important historically for the Thracians, the Greeks, Ottomans, the Slavs, and I'm pretty sure many more. A fun fact is that Sofia only became the capital city of Bulgaria in 1879, and before that, the Bulgarian capital was Veliko Tarnovo. If you didn't know, Bulgaria was previously a communist country up until 1990, and it's pretty obvious when you look at the buildings driving through Sofia. But there's also really sweet modern twists every now and then. Sofia. So we are at the monument that honors the Soviet army that helped the Bulgarians at the end of World War II. But it's known usually, you can see there's some red paint on some of these and they clean them quite frequently. But you may know this park because it's a place where people paint the statues like superheroes. So there's some images that I'll put up now where they've painted them to look like Superman and some of the other like Marvel and DC Universe characters and it's just really cool. It's a really popular place for young people to hang out. So I hear. So we move on to the most popular place in Sofia for pictures, arguably, and that's Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. This was built in memory of the sacrifice of the Russians and the Bulgarians who lost their lives in the Russian-Turkish war that liberated Bulgaria from the Ottoman Empire. It's not really a hidden gem, but definitely a place that you have to go if you go to Sofia. Not necessarily inside, but definitely a place that is a massive photo opportunity. It's really magnificent. Like, I don't think, if you think about Bulgaria, you definitely don't think about buildings like that. I think most people think of like communist style, that everything is like that. And in reality, it's really not. There is so much beauty here and people don't know. People don't come here. So you've lived in Bulgaria for nearly six years now. Five years. Five years. What do you think about Bulgaria? Like what were your expectations when you first came here? Yeah, when you go to Bulgaria, if you go to Sofia, you are missing 80% of Bulgaria. But uh, yeah, many positives, some negatives. Wherever you are, you can have the best of your life. And now onward to the next location. So now we are on our way to the snail house, which is kind of like a lesser known uh, gem. It's in the Semenov neighborhood. So basically the guy who designed this place, he basically made it out of lightweight materials, completely like eco-friendly. And basically it's a five-story uh, residence that is shaped like a snail. Apparently even the radiators are shaped like pumpkins and insects and bugs. And it's a very, wow, we nearly just witnessed an accident there. Anyway, so yeah, so it's really cool. It's apparently a place where like a lot of artists live. So it's not a museum. You can't go inside it, but you can look at it from the outside and from the outside, I believe it's pretty cool. And so yeah, we're gonna see that now. There's a ladybug. Definitely one of the cuter buildings. It's really funny. Basically, you see its mouth. In order to get inside, you literally have to get eaten by the snail. You get swallowed alive by the snail. <laughs> now we're gonna go for some lunch at a traditional restaurant. Hi. So currently we are at Izbata, 
and yeah, it's a traditional Bulgarian uh, place. So we're gonna try some food that Bulgarians actually eat. I basically had something called Granny's chicken, which is babino pile, and Greg had a bean dish, which was also pretty good. It was bubbling. So this is definitely something traditionally Bulgarian. I can tell you, having lived here now for like five years, this is definitely something that Bulgarians would eat. This is very typical balitsa with spinach, except this is a chicken version with some rice on the side. But definitely something Bulgarians would eat. I would definitely recommend coming to Izbata just because it's an interesting experience. There are loads of traditional Bulgarian food restaurants dotted across the country, but this was definitely a really, really nice one. So, I am on my way to see something super, super cool. It is the necropolis of the Church of Sophia. It's so cool. <laughs> I think this was probably my biggest disappointment of the trip. I was pretty excited to come to the necropolis of the Church of Sophia and it was closed! Uh, so disappointing. Uh, but, you know, COVID, gotta keep everybody safe, so it's okay. <laughs> so we went to Vitosha instead. When we were on Vitosha Boulevard, which is the main walking street of Sophia, we stumbled across a Greek coffee shop while we were there and it was literally like being transported back to Greece. It was pretty cool. Anyway, if you like this video and you found some value in it, please hit the like button, comment and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye!